All right, what's going on, everybody? This is that dysfunctional gamer coming at you from TGN Career Path in Video. Now, what I'm doing today? Good old dailies, mind-numbing experience of repeating the same thing day after day, over and over, in hopes to actually get enough rep to start unlocking even more dailies to grind my face upon. Now, if you notice here, I am only getting 110 uh, rep with the Golden Lotus. Now, I have been at this since I've hit 90, and I'm only just going to hit Revered probably tomorrow. Now, one reason why I'm hitting it tomorrow and probably not the next day is this glorious item. I'm going to take a break from actually doing these, uh, these dailies just to show you what I'm talking about. There's this glorious little item called the Hosen Peace Pipe. Some of you may have heard of it, some of you may have not heard of it. But what it is, is a very rare drop from a rare mob that is basically a spawn. He, I think he spawns every hour or so, at least, around there. I spent eight, arm, eight hours farming him. And to make it so that it wasn't so mind-numbing and it was actually you know worth my time, I actually spent some time mining ore and what the hell oh sorry my buddy Tommy saying I disliked his video I'm like uh, no I didn't pretty sure I hit like anyway um so this item I spent eight hours farming it in the process oh what the hell in the process, like I said, I was mining ore, so that way I could, you know, make some gold in the process. Now, here is where this rare mob spawns. His name is Scritch. Now, obviously, sitting around here, like, you know, twiddling your thumbs, probably not the most effective way to farm him. So, for this case, I highly recommend that you download the NPC scan add-on. When you do... What you need to do is make sure that you go into your cache files for World of Warcraft and delete all your cache. Make sure that World of Warcraft is closed in the process. Because what happens is when you have it all set up, you can hang out right around here in this area, actually even a little bit further out, and he will spawn randomly. His name is Scritch. He will spawn in one of these four caves. There's one here. There's one here here and here now unfortunately he's not up right now because I would have really liked to have shown you guys the fight but you know unfortunately he's not there but it's a pretty simple fight I mean he throws a, a banana ring at you which does a lot of damage the main thing that you need to be concerned with is this thing that he does called going bananas now what I do when he does that say for example he was spawned right now I try and pull him all the way back to the back of the room and then when he starts going bananas I run out and then I wait for him to finish and then I basically just rinse and repeat and it is a pretty long fight but the thing behind it what happens you use this item it gives you 1000 rep with all Pandaria factions so if you look at your reputations if you have it, you're going to get rep with it. Now, the only thing I was not clear of, because I don't remember starting anything with the tillers. I might have. I, I, actually, no, I did not. So this actually gave me 1,100. And the reason it gave me 1,100 was because of the guild perk. So I got the extra 10%. That being said, this is why I have honored with the shadow pan already. Because if you do every single quest available to you, you'll get very close. Even killing the Shaw of Anger gives you about five, six hundred rep, I want to say, or five fifty, I think, whatever it was. Anyway, it would not get you to honored. The reason why I have honored, and I was able to get this snazzy little cloak here, is because of the fact that I got this peace pipe. Now, the other perk to this is the peace pipe is actually not bind on pickup. You can actually sell it for a hefty sum of gold on the auction house so that's something to consider 
if you want to spend the time doing this, you know, you can do what I do and, you know, sit here and mine my face off. Um, I think there might be some other nodes like herbalism going on around here. You know, sometimes you get trillium, sometimes you get rich nodes. It's whatever. This guy's a pain in the ass. But, yeah. That's basically all there is to it. If, you want, if you're willing to put in the time, I recommend doing it in the wee hours of the night if you're able to. Because if you're doing it during the day, I'm amazed that nobody's here right now. Then again, people are probably at work, school, what have you. So, I amazingly don't have anybody competing with me here. But, this would be a very viable option for, you know, either for you to make some gold or to get you some extra rep so that you can, you know, reduce the amount of time that you have to do dragging your face across a bunch of same dailies over and over day after day. Anyway, I hope you guys find this information useful. In the future, if I can, I will try and farm him again and actually get footage of the actual fight. Sadly, it probably won't drop because, like I said, I did it for eight hours. I had to try a lot. So be prepared to spend a lot of time here. Hence the mining. Because otherwise I probably would have slashed my wrists. <laughs> Alright, anyway. There you have it. Um, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you find this useful. And I will see you later in my journey to become the greatest monk of all of Azeroth. Take care.